Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis by Abhat Siksha. Today is 2nd of May 2023. Here we have the contents for today. Let's begin. So today's important day is the World Asthma Day. It is held each year on May to raise awareness of asthma. Okay, And it is organized by Global Initiative for Asthma that is also known as GINA, a World Health Organization collaborative organization that, is, that was founded in 1993. Now GINA has chosen Asthma Care for All. So this is the theme for 2023, Asthma Care for All. And this message actually promotes to the development and implementation of effective asthma management programs in all resource countries. Okay. And the most number of cases of asthma, the majority of burden of asthma morbidity and mortality occurs in the low and middle income countries all right and gina is trying to strive is striving to reduce this burden by encouraging healthcare leaders to ensure availability of and uh, access to effective quality medicines okay so we know about gina now that is Global Initiative for Asthma. We know it is held every year on May to raise awareness about asthma. The theme we also have touched, that is Asthma Care for All this year. And to understand why the majority of burden of asthma is in low and middle income countries, is because of the, can you guess? It's because of the development projects or, you know, the air quality reducing because of many human activities. The developed countries, they are already developed, right? So they do not have much uh, burden on developing their assets or anything. So they will focus mostly in cleaner environment and better healthcare. But in low and middle income, middle income countries, the priority is to be developed. And during that process, uh, asthma or any other health issues come up, right? So just a brief, just a tip on how to, you know, get the idea from the news itself. The second news is from Ministry of Defense in PIB. So BRO, that is Border Roads Organization. It's not BRO, it's Border Roads Organization. Uh, is organizing this expedition called Ekta Evam Shraddhanjali Abhiyan. Okay. And it is a multimodal expedition in memory, in commemoration of 64 Border Roads Organization Day celebration. Okay, and this expedition team will comprise of motorcycle, motor cars, which will start from northeast and northern part of the country. Okay, the motorcycle uh, expedition will commence from. Uh, it has already commenced from 14 April 2023 that started from Kibi 2 which is in the eastern part of Arunachal Pradesh and this um, expedition members will collect soil, water and saplings from 108 remote border locations and will be planted at borderers organization uh, Alma Mater, that is their institute and their school and center at Pune. Okay. And the border, the uh, border roads organization raising day is on 7th May. Okay. This is coming. Again from Ministry of Defense, ASEAN and India Maritime Exercise, AIM 2023. Now, this is between the Navy right navies of whom which countries the ASEAN countries what do you understand by ASEAN countries all those countries that are in the Southeast Asia particularly Thailand and then you have uh, Singapore Malaysia etc right so Indian naval ships Satpura and Delhi okay have reached at Singapore on 1st May this is the inaugural ASEAN India Maritime Exercise. Okay, this is the first 
so remember this where was the inaugural asian india maritime exercise held so you can say that singapore all right or it will be conducted in the south china sea now this will go on till 8th of may so today it started it will go on till 8th of may okay now what let's uh, here in the bowl you can read INS Delhi is India's first indigenously built guided missile destroyer and INS Satpura it is also an indigenously built guided missile stealth frigate okay so destroyer and frigate there is a difference okay so you can look up the differences between destroyer and frigate so there are various type of ships in the navy uh, some are frigates some are destroyers some are uh, you can say submarines are there right so there are different types of vehicles in the navy so do look up the terms and do understand the differences it will help you from prime minister's office uh, our prime minister have praised murang learning institute for installing free library station in various districts of arunachal pradesh so this institute called murang learning is not Gurang Murang is NG. So it's from the nose Murang Murang Learning Institute for uh, installing free library station. So this institute has been fundamental or been leading in installing free library station in various districts of Arunachal Pradesh because of which it came into the notice of the Prime Minister's office. And finally, in the last slide, we have this news that Tejpur University is proposing a bill okay to protect local gamusa weavers okay local weavers also known as kipinis of Assam and this will be done through intellectual property management okay and this bill is Assam Gamusa Heritage Protection Bill 2023 okay and this bill, this draft bill, is actually an outcome of uh, UGC, UGC's uh, funded project titled Reviving Cultural Artifact Gamusa Through Intellectual Property Management in Assam and Innovative Supply Chain. Okay, and this was under the scheme called Scheme for Transdisciplinary Research for India's Developing Economy Stride at Tejpur University. Now, why is this bill been put forward okay so the main issue regarding uh, gamusa weaving is that a lot of gamusas now are manufactured by machines and it is going to other states right because uh, it's cheaper and we are getting uh, we are losing our original that gamusa right the textile the designs and everything so to protect protect this uh, if you implement intellectual property on it you get the GI tech which has already been granted but uh, after GI tech when you get the IP rights over Gamusa it will help develop Gamusa in its own sphere in its own area right instead of buying from other people from other states why not help our weavers right so that is the main mission of the Tejpur universities this uh, draft bill that is Assam Gamusa Heritage Protection Bill 2023 then good news for the Bruger people and also for Silchar so there will be direct flights from Guwahati to the Bruger and Silchar and the de Bruger um, flight has already been uh, inaugurated right so the flight timings are here from 9.30 a.m. from Guwahati to Dibrugar and from Dibrugar will be at 3.10 p.m. every day. Okay. Now this is in the non-Uran routes. Okay. And the same idea is being thought over for Jorhat and Tejpur as well. And the maximum price for the ticket has been fixed at rupees 4,000. So beyond 4,000. You don't uh, you, you won't be allowed by the airliners uh, to charge okay you, uh, the maximum price 
is pin fix rupees 4000 okay so with this we come to the end of today's news analysis we hope you're enjoying this series and do check out our youtube channel for more courses particularly the crash course that we are giving in our youtube channel for free that is for for all the aspirants who are preparing for their upcoming exams or in, even in the future right and if you want all the pdfs the course materials you can connect with us on our telegram channel whose link is also in the description box below plus if you are really interested in interacting with us in a personal level you can join our study circle that is only for aspirants who are serious and the timings are from 7 a.m to 9 a.m every day okay so you can connect through our telegram or you could email us regarding the course or regarding the you know study circle and the link for it also is in the description box below so definitely do check it out and you can reach us there as well so thank you for joining this session We'll see you soon.